Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the New Jersey Nets. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. Coach, when you think of teams that move the ball well, these two really stand out. They demonstrate what a selfless attitude is all about. Both of these teams also possess tremendous chemistry because of this approach. You love seeing this kind of unselfishness. Got a piece of it. Moncrief, El Sid with it. New Jersey's First personal foul. First team foul. Here's the dude. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. The dude's got the opening field goal of the game for the Bucks. You know, you'd think the height mismatch would run him off the perimeter. No, sir. Didn't happen there. Takes more than just some extra inches to deter him. He was committed to getting his shot. Williams gets the bucket. Great work inside from Williams. Looking to score whenever he can from this area. The dude passes to Moncrief. Here's the dude. Takes the three. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. To the paint, Birdsong, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Some fire from Birdsong inside, working hard to get his shot. Milwaukee has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's the dude, and another basket for Milwaukee. He does not lack for confidence, and... He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Cook dishes to Williams. Knocked away. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Hey, now! Hey, now! Yeah! And the defense has to keep an eye on Moncrief, especially when he's looking to score on the break. King against Johnson. At the top of the key, Cook. And it's off from three-point range. Bucks have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. A shot by Johnson, no good. The Nets have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's King. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Bucks they won their last contest that game against New York. They've looked as focused as I've ever seen them, made all the right decisions, and were basically dominant. And that's a credit to the players and staff. They were prepared for that contest, and it showed. Here's Birdsong following the three by Milwaukee. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Birdsong's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Birdsong is a gifted shooter, especially from the mid-range area. Here's the three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. From the tip, this team has flexed its muscles and shown its dominance. What a start, particularly on the offensive end. Here's Birdsong. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Detroit. Not exactly the most solid screen you'll see. Still works, though. Here's the dude. The rebound by the Nets. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. Now here's Williams. Coming off a of stellar performance against Detroit. And it's Cook missing. Bucks leading by eight. Tries it from 19. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. From the opening whistle, their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. Now a timeout called by New Jersey.
First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Good on the shot. Superb vision that time by Williams. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's the dude. It's deflected. Pass to King. Johnson with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Tell you what, early in the game, these kinds of plays can really set the tone. Here is Cook. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. They get a hand on it, and it's going to be out of bounds. New Jersey will retain possession. Just five on the clock. New Jersey needs to get off a shot here. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And at this time of the year, Clark, we start to see the physical toll the NBA season can have on the players, don't we? Yeah, we do. And, you know, this is when you have to be mentally strong because every player's somewhat worn down at this point. Every player has some kind of ache or pain that he's dealing with. And you just have to be professional and fight through it because this is part of your job. A double-double monster. Williams shoots such a high percentage and also hits the boards hard, too. Here's Cook. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Here's the dude. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Let's it go with a three. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep, this is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Cook, good. So fast once he catches it. I like how Cook measures the defense ahead of time. Bucks leading by seven. Launches from deep. And another three for Milwaukee. Jumping all over them right from the tip-off. They now have a double-digit advantage. They look like the more confident team so far. This is why they've grabbed such a substantial lead so fast. Now here's King. Still yet to score. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Milwaukee. We're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been so far. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's the dude. 20 points for him. Baseline try. King with the block. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That is his first foul of the game. New Jersey making a switch here. Russell's checked in. Number 21, Kathy Russell. Richardson outside. Williams in the post. He's guarded by Thornton. Trying to grab hold of that momentum right here. Well, that play, that play right there, that'll fire up your teammates. Hey, they're still competing. Two minutes remaining. The dude passes to Thornton. Here's the dude. Launches a three. It's tipped. Tipped away. Pass to O'Corn. Back to Richardson. Over Macy. And it's New Jersey scoring again. Got to guard Richardson from there or he will make you pay. Bucks leading by four. Macy passes to the dude from outside the arc. No points on that miss. Puts him at seven for 13 from the floor. Here's O'Corn. 
Looking out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. Johnson, he's checked in for Milwaukee. From deep. And the Bucks miss again. Really good position defensively and a really good shot contest, too. Couldn't have played it any better. And it's Williams with the jam. That time Williams doing a nice job bruising himself inside and throwing it down. The Bucks have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Here's the dude. Good on the three-point shot. The dude's got 23. I like that they're putting in the work, trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Dawkins, the pass to King. There's the screen. Shoots from the elbow. It's good. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes often. Milwaukee leading by 17. And there's the pass to the dude. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's foul number two for him. Sacrificing his body, putting it on the line right there. That takes tremendous grit. Taking charges, not for the faint of heart. Here is Cook. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Pistons in Detroit. Yeah, the defense really had a lot of difficulty guarding him. They kept putting him on the line. He really burned them from there. And that one's good, the dude. And it's Cook with the ball for the Nets. Trailing by 19. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Pass to Dawkins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Good shooter all over the floor. Dawkins given a free chance to head on here. New Jersey shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. That free throw, no good. The Bucks making a switch here. Pressy is checked in. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We come back right after this. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Boy, you like the discipline and patience he's played with through the first half. Never forcing it, always letting the game come to him. Just good, sound, fundamental basketball. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Bucks leading by 21. Fires the three. And Dawkins pulls it down. That was a great effort defensively, guys. Getting a hand up in the face of the shooter is always an important part of defense. And he's trying to carry this offense, but he can't do it alone. His guys need to help him. Takes a three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. The 19-foot shot. Birdsong. Good. Birdsong's got 10 points in the game. Milwaukee's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. And that one's good. The dude. Carry much of the load here in this one. Putting them out to a nice lead. Cook looking it over. Down low. Here's King. Got a hand on it. Solid work on defense from Kersey. Got to love when he hustles and comes up with the box. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Back to Moncrief. Shot clock at five. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Here's the new. And another three for Milwaukee. Again and again, round and round we go. This guy is knocking down those triples. Beyond the points, he also provides spacing to this offense. And the Bucks making a change here. Mokeski's checked in. 
and we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Inside, and Dawkins slams it in. Flashing that power right there, Dawkins is outstanding at jamming it down. Fires from deep. Connects again from distance. Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc, dropping bomb after bomb. And who can blame them? When you're hitting like this, you got to just keep it going. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. There's a screen. Here's King. Rebounded by the Bucks. Now here is Moncrief. He's got nine. And Dawkins pulls it down. And usually, you can count on him to convert there. The D did just enough to throw him off. And it's in there. Birdsong's got 12. Never breaking focus. The mental game is a huge advantage for Birdsong. Here's the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. And it makes sense why they keep running the offense through him, proving how efficient he is. Cook kicks to Williams. Over to the left wing. King, the pass to Cook. Pass to Birdsong. Milwaukee with the rebound. Okeski's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Fires from the wing. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Nice work from the mid-range. Johnson is creative at finding space to get his shot off. There's the pick. Birdsong passes to King. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. He doesn't pass up any opportunity to throw it down. Oh, no. Yeah, once you give him space to take off, he goes for it. Slamming it down with one hand, too. Love the ferocity. Timeout called the Bucks. Cressy's checked in for Milwaukee. As we get a break in the action, now let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. You look at the Bucks. Very strong season they've had. Always at or, or near the top of the conference. And right now they're in first place in contention for that. Exactly where they want to be as they close in on the postseason. And of course New Jersey. And they're down four spots from them. Here's the dude. Off target from outside. The Nets have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Outside Williams. Cook the pass to Williams. Here's Dawkins. Passes it to Birdsong. Shot clock at six. There's the pass to the dude. Here's McKesson. He's guarded by Williams. Threw the foul, had the chance to sink it too. I thought it was still going in, even with the physical defense. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. Here's Birdsall. He's got 12. And it's in off the backboard. Birdsong's got 14. A scoring guard. Birdsong brings this team serious punch in the backboard. Pressy passes to the dude. From past the arc, knocks down the three ball. The dude's got 39. He is a challenging matchup from out there. to knock down even the toughest shots. Sydney Moncrief. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. O'Korn passes to Birdsong. The hustle from Moncrief. Outstanding job making his presence felt on the defensive end. Pressy passes to the dude. The 
puts up a three. And another three for Milwaukee. So consistent from the field. A quality outing for him. Here is Cook. He's got eight. O'Corn passes to Cook. And he gets it to go from the corner. Ten points for him. Here's the dude. Puts up a deep three. The long distance three is built. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Nets have gone seven of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Here's Birdsong on the money from 12 feet away. Going on the attack, working his way into a nice shot. The Bucks have gone eight of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. From downtown, and that one's good, the dude. The dude's got 48. Showing just how dominant he can be. He's just carrying this offense right now. Here's Birdsong. Presley defending. Pass to O'Korn. They get the rebound. On the glass, Williams is just a menace. Clearing out space to grab the ball and put it right back. They're running away with this one right now. Now they're just seeing how big they can make this lead. Even against saran wrap tight defense like that, you still expect him to knock those down. I don't know. The defense was on him like glue. It would have been quite a bucket, even though we have seen him hit those in the past. Flying up high. What a move. You're right, Clark. The elevation. Incredible. I almost thought he was getting too much air. Here's Birdsong. He's got 16. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Now, look, Daryl Dawkins is a big, strong, athletic guy. You really got to foul him if you don't want him to score. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Thornton's checked in. Kyle Macy subbed in for Moncrief. And New Jersey also making a switch. Richardson's checked in. Pass to the dude from the arc. He got it again. Sensational. And just like that, he's tied the record for most 50-point games. Greg, this is a record I never thought would be matched. Unbelievable season from him. Here's Williams, and Williams throws it down. Boy, around the bucket, not much stops Buck Williams. That guy is determined. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. Here's Richardson. Drops in the breakaway layup. Richardson's got 10 points in the game. Tell you what, those two points had to feel good. So hard getting essentially three points. So you save for those. And really deep through that time. 54 points for the dude. Always knows where his teammates are on the floor. Pressing notches assists left and right. Here is Cook, defended by Macy. The offensive rebound, Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Really strong putback from underneath that time. Yeah, good luck, right, Clark, when he has the ball in his hand. Exactly. They love his determination down there. Here's the dude. Offline with his three. Pull up Jay, and there's Richardson. That's good on the assist from Cook. Cook's got four assists now tonight. And so it's Milwaukee rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Hawkins checked in for New Jersey. Cook comes in for Richardson. Oh. 
and a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Milwaukee. It's a 16-point game. Great positioning on the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Here is Cook. Passes to Jaminski. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. As he's checked in for Bressy. Russell, he's checked in for the Nets. From the inbound, Birdsong. Good. Birdsong's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Tremendous confidence from Birdsong. You know, that's why defenses have to be right up into him. Otherwise, it's a wrap. The dude passes to Monk. Here's the dude from 20 feet out. And got it! Another basket. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Plenty of space. That one drops for him. Birdsong's got 29 in the game. This demonstrates unselfishness. Russell's excellent at getting it to open teammates. A three. That's tipped. And they'll get another chance. Brewer, the pass to the dude. From deep three-point land, a rebound by the Nets. Williams has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Russell. Again, the Nets for two. Not just a scorer, Birdsong is also adept at finding uncovered teammates. Bucks leading by 14. And here's the fast break. Cook leading the way. Here's Williams. And Williams slams it in. Whoa, Buck Williams. Goodness. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And that one's good. The dude. The dude's got 58. Nets trail by 14. Timeout called. The Nets. And I'd bet right now, Coach wants to go over the turnover problem. Seems like they've been trying to force things a bit. Just need to get back into a steady rhythm. Establish the pace of the offense so they can string together a good run. Solid possessions without trying to do too much. Kings checked in for Russell. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. Well, Alexi Morris was just going over his plan with his team. And it was an intense huddle. Coach challenged his team. He told him the effort's not there. It has to get better. We'll see if those words work, Kevin. Thank you, David. Here's Birdsong. On grief defending. Here's Cook. Here's King. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. They're also really getting it done at the free throw line. They've earned a lot of good calls and are making the most of every trip they get. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's the dude. Mike, they should just be taking their time right now. Am I right? Absolutely, Kevin. The clock is their friend right now. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. One fifty-six left in the fourth quarter. Here's Birdsong. Dawkins, a screen on Moncrief. Goes up the baseline. Birdsong, good. Birdsong's got 31 points. Not exactly the most solid screen you'll see. Still works, though. Here's the dude. A three-pointer off the mark. Just absolutely tenacious, guys. He stuck right on him defensively. Really bothered that shot. King, that's good. Nice pass, creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Milwaukee leading by eight. Here's the dude. 
And another one falls. Amazing. I don't know what the heck the defense is thinking there. I mean, he's cast from this area of the floor, and they let him walk into it. Yeah, you got to show more fight on defense. This isn't the guy you give room to shoot from the mid-range. It's good. Birdsong's got 33. And, you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. Draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. It's clear now how this is going to end, and I'm not surprised. Great win for the Bucks. One area where they set themselves apart tonight, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It hindered their opponent all game long and helped spark their own offense as a result. And I think coming into this game, these guys felt they had the confidence to win. And looking at the season, they've had already 58 wins in the books. Tonight will be win number 59. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for the dude. His shot selection and his touch were really exceptional in this one. He kept finding ways to get the better of the defense. Timeout called the Nets. They trail by nine. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Birdsong. Back to Cook. From deep. Brewer with the rebound. One more shot might be all it takes here. Exactly. That might be the final nail, so to speak. Count that bucket. They've turned it up a notch here during this home stretch. Yeah, saving their best basketball for when it mattered the most. That's how you secure a win. Birdsong passes to Cook. Now King is guarded by Johnson. And the Nets miss again. Here's the dude. From deep three-point land. That shot missing. Is it just me, or has this guy grabbed every rebound tonight? What a terrific performance. Pure effort out there. He is fighting, clawing, just willing himself to get everything. And so it's the Bucs taking care of business in this one. Fueled by the energy in this arena, they were able, Clark, to take control of this one. Yep, you always want to show out in front of the home crowd, and they did not disappoint. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For our reporter, David Aldridge, Onga Clark Kellogg, and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone.